Hello everybody, welcome back to more Frogger 2 Swappy's Revenge. So, let's just continue with the story mode, shall we? We have completed the first couple of worlds. We've gotten through the garden, we've gotten through the desert world, and the underground world. We are now on Chapter 5, Toad Breaker. Oh, interesting. Well, let's just get started, shall we? It looks like now Frogger and Lily Frogger at the same NASA center that Swampy went to, even though he's long gone into a different galaxy by now. Guess Lily Frog didn't realize you can just take out an ad on Craigslist for someone to be dead weight. Frog was just trying to brute force the password on the computer to get on a, uh, a spaceship, and then Lily Frog's like, um, I've got a better idea, and is going into this weird lab. So yeah, welcome to the next Lily Frog world. It's the laboratory. This will be uh, this will be interesting. And also, where is Swampy taking the kids? Like, does he live in outer space? Is he just sending them out into outer space to throw them into the void? Like, I don't, I don't get it. Anyhow, so here we are. We got these weird flying security robots. We can quickly maneuver around around them. No, oh, never mind. I got zapped. We got some kind of either a lava or acid down there. Oh, we got the cute little like robot dogs that run around. Very distinctive. And then we got these bubbles getting shot at. All right, floating platforms over toxic goop. I love it. platform here, and it'll take us over to this platform. We got conveyor belts and more of these robots. They will walk on the coins, so be careful. So we're gonna ride this platform all the way over here to grab this coin. And now we're gonna need to double super hop over here. You can technically double super hop on the way over, but it's hard to pull off because you need to be really, really fast. I like how these little machines spit out the floating platforms. And I like how everything's like a rave. Alright, this part can be a bit annoying. So we got all of these sets of uh, Newton balls going back and forth. If you want to grab all the coins and get through here, it can be annoying. Just gotta wait on the spot where there's a gap in the balls. That's all you can hope for. Yeah, this part is definitely slow when you're doing the time trial. It's also annoying when you gotta quickly grab a coin that's at the opposite end of the area. But we got through them, no problem. Wait for the platforms to align, and boom. Just gotta be patient. Step on the button and you'll see those blue platforms have now spawned in. We're gonna need those in order to cross. Rats, they didn't appear in time. Rats, I pushed the up button too quickly. Rats, I am really screwing up. I'm gonna wait for the next platform to go by. There we go. Now we need to push this button. Do that, collect the last two coins, and super hop over to the red frog. Oh yeah, all coins collected, and we opened up a new bonus level, Twister. And for the record, this level is called Disco Lab, not DI5 Collab, like I thought when I was young. <laughs> no, it's the Disco Lab, just spelled in that leet internet language. That's a fun one. I, I adore the music in this world, and the whole theming of that level is really great, but. Man, that, that, a 1 minute 35 seconds is not that much time on a level like that, especially since the Newton Ball section is going to force you to slow down, so. That can actually, this is actually one of the tougher levels to get the time trial record on. Anyhow, next level in the lab area. This one is quite a level. It's very large and very involved, so we're going to head on down here, wait for the robot to go by. Next we got all of these vacuum cleaner robots going by. Thankfully, they alternate between being on the right side and being on the left, so we can use that to our advantage. 
sneak past the robot dog over there. We're gonna super hop up here because there's a coin, and you can see there's a huge, like, elaborate underground labyrinth under us. When we collect the frog, this elevator opens up, and we're gonna ride that on down. And yeah, as you can see, this level has multiple floors. And this next floor is where the level gets really insane. So you see those guys up there? Those are monkey guards. And they kind of mimic your movements. So as we walk into this room, you can see there's a monkey down there. Every time we move, they get a little bit closer. So now he's just right on my tail. Yeah. So now if we try moving up here, there's another monkey. Okay, this happened. So I moved down, but there was nothing to do. Okay, I'm gonna super hop. Okay, no I'm not. <laughs> Monkey just tore me to pieces. Wow, that was violent. So what you want to do in that situation is you get down here. You super. We're gonna super hop, then push up and super hop again. And boom. We just duped the monkey. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. Now we're gonna have to do the same thing here. So then we collect to the next frog. This elevator up here will open up. If we move down, I believe the monkey will maul us, but thankfully the elevator is free square as long, so we can head on in now. Yeah. Every each frog is on a different floor, so this is a five-floor uh, factory here, which is crazy. It's one of the largest levels in the game. So for this, wait for the platforms to appear. I'm gonna su double super hop over here. Just, it's a little faster. This part right here is a bit annoying. So we got the monkey there, he's guarding the coin. If we want the coin over here, we gotta move backwards and super hop. Then if we wanna go back, we gotta super hop and turn around mid super hop. Yeah, this, this is the level that's gonna force you to get crazy with the super hops. Especially the double super hops. If you want to grab all the coins without dying, that is. And, of course, I did a bad job of showing that off. But I pulled off the tricky part, but I failed at the easy part. Alright, here's the monkey. Okay. That was a bad idea. Alright. We're gonna pull off the same thing here. Oh, yeah. No! Okay. Grabbing that coin is kind of a guaranteed death. Either that or I'm not, just not smart enough to pull the monkey out far enough. The monkeys are definitely some of the most annoying enemies in the game. Yeesh! Oh, no. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to go up here, jump down on that platform, and then double super hop to grab the coin. Well... Shows what I know. Yeah, grabbing all the coins on this level. Exercise and frustration. Alright. Monkey see, monkey do. Monkey go in the loop de loo. Grab the blue frog and we head down to the next floor. And this floor is interesting. So we got all of these like hopping security cameras going around. They will kill us in one hit for reasons. And there are also electric fences here in the middle. The electricity will occasionally turn off, but not for long. And as you can see here, the security cameras go from a two-line two corridor into a three-line corridor, which can screw up the timing a little bit. Oh, boy. No. Oh, that's bad. Oof. <laughs> Nothing says you screwed up like having a duck quack at you. Well, that kind of stinks, actually, because now we have to play through all of Chapter 5 again. Which means we gotta play for the- Oh no, we don't have to play for the Disco Lab again. Oh, that's nice of it to put us right back in the research facility. I wonder, can I double super hop up here? No, I cannot. Yuck. The, the vacuum cleaners are randomly one of the enemies that make you swell up and then explode when you touch them. If 
your vacuums are making you swell up and explode, you're probably using the wrong type of vacuum. Anyhow. I can now go a little bit more quickly, so we can hurry up and get back to where the blue frog was. Darn it, I screwed up. Yeah, what's interesting is that if you just, if you press on a key that doesn't actually make you move, because there's a wall in the way, the monkeys will still react to that when you're in their range. So you can actually use that to your advantage. <laughs> All right, monkey. Okay, yeah, let's try this way. No, monkey still, still hit me. This part's also tough because unlike the upper floor, with the first floor of the monkeys, there are no walls on this platform to be able to move, move into to make the monkey move, but you not move. So if you're just off sync with the monkey, you can get cornered and killed very, very easily. Like the monkeys only appear in this one level. And for some reason, they are like the most t difficult enemy in the game by far. Also, the monkeys are wearing what I do believe are the helmets that prisoners wear when they are getting into the electric chair. Which is uh, weird. They're like wearing mind control helmets. What the heck? Swampy's like a crocodile, but he has all of this technology? Either that or he's just borrowing NASA's accomplishments. Which might be more likely. Grab the purple frog, and scoot. Alright, last floor. So this room, thankfully, no monkeys. It's just a lot of collapsing platforms. And I forgot about the propeller enemies. They're not too bad. Ha-ha! Again, after your first super hop, you can change direction in midair for the second super hop. Just like, you press super hop, then you hold the direction you want to go in, and then press the second super hop button, and you should double super hop in that direction. Those propeller enemies look like the automated snowflake inspector from Pajama Sam 2. Just throwing that out there. Got an extra life. Cool, all 25 coins. Wait for the robot to get out of the way, and boom! That is one of the toughest levels in the game. It's the research facility. All coins collected, and we opened up the final bonus level, Blockade. Wow, we actually got a silver trophy for that. Not the gold trophy. Prince Ali beat us by, like, <laughs> over 20 seconds, but... Again, Prince Ali wasn't trying to get all the coins. If you're not trying to get the coins on that level, you can get, actually, a pretty fast time, believe it or not. Most of the time on that level spent just watching the elevators go down. But yeah, that's a really, really inter interesting level. The monkeys are very annoying, but they're also really creative. And, like, I'm sure there are ways to get around the monkeys that I just am not smart enough to figure out. Which is funny, because this game is designed for children. Well, oh well. Frog is still brute forcing the password. He's like, I guessed it! I don't think that was you, Frogger. Swampy didn't have to do that, what the heck? And then Frogger just gets into a rocket and takes off without his wife. Okay. Either that or the rocket is automated. <laughs> Frogger's like, oh no! Alright, so now we are in outer space. That... Frogger just ditched his wife on Earth. He's just like, I'll get in the rocket by myself. So yeah, here we are in outer space. Get out of the rocket. Get that cool little escalator ride down. 
have some of the most bopping music in the entire game. Oh, it's fantastic. And this level is very different from all the other levels, which you're about to see why. There's Swampy. So we've actually caught up to Swampy now. We're taking a rocket ship ride. It's a, it's kind of like an automated level. We just got to hop out of the way of these bombs. Oh, we missed the... That's embarrassing. I'm actually going to hop off. So we caught up to Swampy, apparently. Yeah. We got to make sure we get out of the way of the bombs or else we will shatter like a glass capsule. Again, this level is basically just an auto-scroller. Those rockets are basically the bombs, except they go two ways. So yeah, we basically just do free laps on this level. So we're on lap two now, we've gotten the first two frogs. It's a really interesting level, it's just, again, it's basically an auto-scroller. And we got all the coins. And we grabbed the last frog. So now we gotta do one more lap, avoid all of the bombs and stuff, and then we can grab the red frog. Because this level is automated and there's really not any way to make it go faster, it's really easy to get the best time on. We're not going to get the best time on because I dawdled at the beginning and screwed up, but... Yeah, we're already done. <laughs> that level is really fast. Space Chase! All coins collected, wart available! So yeah, we've unlocked all of the bonus levels, and now we're unlocking bonus characters. So the coin prizes, there are basically three types of coin prizes. The first coin prizes will be the bonus levels, uh, then the second coin prizes will be unlockable bonus characters. And these are bonus characters you can either use in arcade mode or in multiplayer mode. So there's an arcade mode where you can basically play any of the levels in the game, plus the bonus levels, to try to get the best possible time. And you can play as a bunch of different characters, and they all are functionally exactly the same. They just are, they look different and sound different. And we have, yeah, we normally only start with four characters, and now we just unlocked a new one, Ward. He's, uh, he's interesting. And doggone it, ran, ran away with it, beat my time by over 15 seconds. But, yeah, that's a level where, like, as long as you get on the rocket ship quickly, and as long as you dodge all the stuff that's in your way, like, you'll get the best time, and it's not even hard. So, that space chase, now it's time to do a much more interesting space level. Rescue the baby, so now we're on this space station. We gotta... What? I really like this level. This level is easily one of my favorite levels in the game, because it's actually open-ended. This is an actual exploration level. Like Frogger, he's back. It's not linear. You can get any of the frogs in any order, which is fantastic. Got these robots hanging around. They remind me of the robots at Pizza Planet in Toy Story. Red Frog is just kind of hanging out here. Let's go this way. Ooh, we got all these flying brains. The flying brains on this level always reminded me of the creepy baby from Toy Story. Uh-oh. So that coin down there is, uh, kind of an interesting one to grab, because this flying brain is always going to be in our way. So what we want to do is go up here, double super hop onto that platform, then hop on and double super hop back. So yeah, the, the coins are actually getting tougher to grab, and I, I like it. Really force you to think outside the box. Yeah, but I, I love this level. It really does feel like it's one of the Frogger 1 levels. Make sure you double super up over the frog, because if we grab this frog, it warps us back to the start. Again, like Frogger, he's back. If you want, you can double super hop over there. But we don't have to. We're going to keep exploring this side. Yeah, there are these flying asteroid platforms. They can take us back and forth on this level. You can't go too far, otherwise you'll hit an electric fence. As you can see... So the, the red frog is easy, he's just hanging out on one of these. Oh no, we fell! Yeah, but this, this level is fantastic, I love it. Let's head on over to this purple structure. We can push these buttons and open up the force fields, because, uh, can't go through without it. And we got these weird ro uh, <laughs> these Zerg robots going around. Man, this, this level really is Toy Story themed. That button will make this bridge appear. Got to avoid the killer TVs, because of course there are killer TVs. 
and we grabbed the yellow frog. And now, now that we've grabbed the yellow and the green frogs, this way will seal itself, and now we can go over this way instead. And this is the way we saw that we could have double super hopped over to with all the TVs. So again, you can go on this side earlier. There's nothing stopping you as long as you can double super hop your way up. Alright. More flying brains, more robots. There are these weird pits filled with TV static. Oh, no! The robot electrocuted me, but we spawned back here and not back at the start for some reason. Oh no! I'm dumb! It's okay, I've got a lot of lives. Grab the blue frog, and all we have left is the purple frog. Alright, we ride on up here. Now we've got this sidewalk that's filled with all of these different TVs, brains, and robots. Which is one of my favorite cartoons growing up. <laughs> Uh-oh! We missed a coin somewhere! There it is. That's an easy coin to miss. No! There we go. Yeah, this almost fantastic. It, again, it's not nearly as explorative as the Frogger He's Back levels. But it's still pretty good. Okay. So, auto hop, I did not know what it did for the longest time. And auto hop, if you hold the button down, it will hop for you. Which is why oftentimes with auto hop, I would move automatically because I just tap the button, but it registers that I held it and it makes me hop more than once. So, auto hop is still not very good, but it can help. And there we go. Space station. All coins collected, tank available. Tank is probably the best of the optional characters in the game. Oh man, we took over four minutes and Buyer managed to do it in under three, so. Yeah, that's a super fun level though. I love I love the design, I love the open-endedness. I like how you can get any of the frogs in any order. I like the, all the enemy designs on that level. It's great, I like the coin placement. It's just a fun level. Got good graphics, got amazing music. Yeah, Space Station, easily one of my favorite levels in the game. And that is going to do it for this episode of Frogger 2 Swampy's Revenge. Thanks for watching, everybody. Next time, well, yeah. So next time we, we're going to be finishing up both the uh, laboratory world and the space world. Every world in this game is free levels tops. And after that, after that, we only have one world left in the game. Yeah, like I said, this this game is ridiculously short. So I'm going to have to think about like if I want to break up, if I want to do just the rest of the game in one video or if I want to split it up somehow because basically no matter what I do, one of these next two videos, either the next video is going to be longer than usual or out of the next two videos, one of the next two videos is going to be really really short. I don't really know how to handle that, so I'll just have to scratch my brain and think about it. Well, thanks for joining in, everybody. This is a lot of fun. Definitely tune in next time because, well, the levels are still going to be pretty great after this. So, this, this game is still very fun. It's short and sweet and mm, mwah. Anyhow, have a great day and God bless everybody.